Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. And welcome back to another episode of Walking and Talking and Riding and Sliding with your boy, Courtney P. You do not have to kill yourself. Start out walking five to ten minutes in your neighborhood and work your way up. So YouTube, so Birmingham, so Alabama football, so Alabama Crimson Tide football fans. You had some ex-Alabama football players come out and say they feel like Bryce Young should come back to Alabama for a senior season. And the reason why they feel like he should come back for a senior season is because they feel like that Bryce Young did not win his own national championship at Alabama. You know, obviously, Bryce Young, his freshman year, he was behind Mac Jones, and he was on that championship team, but he was not, you know, the quarterback of that team. So some people feel like that maybe he should come back. So you know your boy Courtney P got to give his take on it. You know, with all due respect to everybody, you know, in their opinion on, you know, maybe Bryce Young coming back, Will Anderson coming back, or some of the other players, I feel like that, especially with Bryce Young and Will Anderson, you know, these guys, in my opinion, have been stand-up character guys. These guys have been leaders on the team, you know, even as sophomores. And so I feel like that these guys have carried the mill in so many different ways from a leadership standpoint, from a character standpoint, and they gain absolutely nothing by coming back to Alabama. And, you know, I know I want to win a national championship just as bad as any other Alabama fan. But Bryce Young coming back does not guarantee a national championship. You know, and I know the NIL, um, you know, may play a factor, you know, as, you know, some of the ex-players talked about, hey, you know, they got this NIL money now. You know, maybe they could consider, consider staying. But, you know, your boy Courtney P feels like, you know, you only get so many opportunities, you know, at some point. If you are maturity ready um, and if you are character ready, which I feel like Bryce Young is. I feel like Will Anderson is. You know, Brian Branch, I never hear anything bad about this guy's will. I think he could go to the NFL right now and do very well. I also think Jameer Gibbs could probably go to the NFL and, you know, not only get drafted high, but do well. All four of these guys really seem like stand-up young men and, you know, guys ready to go to the next level. So as bad as I want, you know, Alabama to win a national championship, I do feel like, you know, that if any young man, you know, gets a chance to make 35, 40 million dollars, you know, guaranteed, and they don't have any character issues. You know, they are doing what they need to do on and off the field. It's going to translate to the NFL, and they're going to be successful. You look at Bryce Young the whole time in Alabama, he's been successful. You look at Will Anderson the whole time in Alabama, he's been successful. You know, you even look at somebody like a Brian Branch, you know, his freshman year, he kind of shared playing time with Malachi Moore and but Malachi Moore at that point was a star but you know at some point you know he actually end up taking over you know um the the position the slot you know corner position and you know overtook Malachi Moore so you know the thing about it is is we want our guys to win we want Alabama to win and we want our players to win we want our players to not just be successful at Alabama, we want our players to be successful in life. So like we say all the time, we're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it pushing. Bryce Young, go get that money. Will Anderson, go get that money. Brian Branch, go get that money. Jameer Gibbs, go get that money. Thanks for walking and talking and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P, again and again and again.